Hey YouTube, this is a video on tree traversal. So here we have, um, we want to traverse the following binary tree using the in order traversal. And to the left is our binary tree. It's actually a binary search tree um, because everything to the left of seven is um, less than seven and everything to the right of the seven is greater than seven. And here to the right, we have our in order um, program or function. And all this program here is saying is to go as far left as possible. Then once we can't go left anymore, print the value. And then once we're done printing the value, we're going to go as far right as possible. So it's that simple. So we start off by inputting the root node, which is seven. And from the code here, we check to see if the uh, node seven is null and it's not because it has the, uh, value seven and so we're going to go left so now we're going to go to the left we get to one one's not null um so it's going to go left again so we get to zero zero is not null we're going to go left again well to the left now is a null value there's nothing there Okay, so now that we have null, we're going to return. So we're going to go back to the previous node, which was zero. And we went as far left as possible. So now we're going to print that value. And so the value that we're printing is the value of the node we're currently on, which is zero. And now we got to go as far right as possible. Well, to the right of the node zero is nothing as well. So we're just going to return and we're done here. And now um, we want to go back up and we're at the one node again. And we went as far left as we could. So now we're going to print that value. So uh, I'm going to put a X here each time we print. And then we want to go as far right as possible. So to the right of this is a three. So three is not null. So we're going to go to the left now. And we get to two. Uh, two is not null. We go to the left. To the left of two is null. So we return back to our previous node, which is two. So now that we got the two, we are going to print it. And then we're going to go as far right as possible. Well, there's nothing to the right. So we return back to the two. And then we return back to the three. So now we're at the three. We went as far left as possible on the three. So we need to print the value three now. And now we need to go as far right as possible of the three. So um, we get to five. Uh, five is not null. We're going to go left. To the left of five is four. Four is not null. So we're going to go left. And to the left of four is null because there's nothing there. So uh, we return back to our previous node, which is four. So now we're at the print statement, so we print four. And then we go as far right of four. And there's nothing to the right, so we return and we go back to our previous note, which is five. So now we have to print five. And then we go to the right of five and we see six. And we go to the left of six, there's nothing, so we return back to six and we print it. And then we look at the right of six, there's nothing there. So we return back to six and then we return back to five and we return back to three. Um, we return back to one. And now we're going to return all the way back to seven. And so we have went as far left as possible on seven. So now we're going to print seven. And now we're going to go as far right as possible. So now we go right, we have nine. Uh, we're going to go to the left of 9, we get 8. We go to the left of 8, there's nothing. So we return back to 8, and we print 8. Um, now we printed 8. We need to go to the right of 8. There's nothing there. So we return from 8, and we go to 9. So now we're at 9. We need to print it. 
And now we need to go as far right at on nine as possible. So we go to the right, um, we put in 10. So now we need to go to the left of 10, there's nothing. So we return back to 10 and we print 10. And then we go to the right of 10, there's nothing there. So we return, we return back to uh, nine and we return back to seven and we are done. And the cool thing about um, the in order traversal is uh, on a binary search tree is that it literally puts the numbers in order. And this is the uh, basic way of understanding it. Just go left, print the value, then go right. That is basically in order. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.